Hey everybody, my name is Lol and welcome to the channel. So we've got some more Chris Free, but this time we've got something a little bit different. This is an interview where he's doing road songs for lovers. I know he does a lot of songs about road, driving, going home, you know, getting lost on the road. But this is, let's jump in and let's have a little watch of this interview. It's about 15 minutes, so um, get comfy and we'll we'll check out um, some Chris Rea. I'm going to explain some of his crap. Happy. Happy on the road. Uh, the song Happy on the Road came to me on the M40 near Oxford, as usual. Huge, huge mile, two mile traffic jam. Everybody unhappy. Mobile phones going berserk. And to my left, there was a truck. I couldn't actually see in the, tr in the cab. But there was a trucker, he had his window down, it was a very hot day, and he was singing away, happy as, happy as a lark. And we all actually just commented that there are some people who are actually happy in this traffic jam. Yeah. I, I mean, a trucker is kind of used to it, you know, he's got things, you know, set up, you know, he's probably used to being stuck in traffic and on the road. And it's and about else. being happy, and that's happy on the road. Inspiration so comes from everywhere. You never know. Till there's nothing left behind. Nothing left behind is a, a traveller's song about a poor guy who has had so much trouble in his life that day or that week or whenever it's been building up uh, that he actually just keeps on driving. He just he doesn't want to get there. So he's mm. just going to drive till there's nothing left behind. I think there's many of us have often felt that way. Just keep driving. Man, his spoken voice is completely different to his um, singing voice. Completely different. Road Songs for Lovers is a personal song, although it means the same to a lot of people, of when you were young and you went on holiday, we used to go to Farmantera, a little island off Ibiza, and it, we used to go because it was cheap. It then became extremely trendy. Now it costs a fortune to go to Farmantera. And it's about being young, having a beat up second hand beach buggy and barefoot and I have always had this lasting vision of the bare feet on the, the hot dashboard late afternoon. And the song is, let's go back to that kind of feeling. Let's mm. go back to being young and happy. Yeah. Uh, only if we could, eh? Going back to those days. It's all about money. How much you can make. Uh, this is one of the few songs on the album that isn't about two people in a car. But what made this track work so well was uh, Jamie Hawaii, a very young bass player that I found, and I'm lucky for finding him. He's got a fantastic groove, and I hadn't meant to do it the way it's finished up on the record but they were playing so well together and the groove was so well, that took over whatever ideas I had. And it was just there because we're playing together and it's really good, good feeling. And that, that doesn't happen all the time in a recording studio. I've learned now in my older life and my experience to uh, keep those moments keep them as whenever possible. The song itself that gave me the idea was when I once found myself thinking, I need something to buy. And I suddenly realized what a silly thought I'd made, but everybody these days has got shopping mania. And one of the worst things, most dangerous things in the money world these days are these bits and magazines that give you all sort of you know, 
different headphones or apps or whatever, and you need to buy them, and it's become a modern illness. Pray it was all worth the fight. The couple in the car in this song are two people who've been workmates and have been together years. And every night they do the same drive from work to where they live. And they get to know each other extremely well over the years. And they start to have a kind of emotional feeling between each other that doesn't have kitchen element in it. It's only the nice parts of life because when we live with people, we have to take every part of life. Mm. And they get to the point of the turn off on the motorway and on this particular occasion, they go past the turn off and into the night. And we shouldn't judge them because we don't judge anybody. Two lost souls. He hates the boat he's sailing Why she loves the sea Rock My Soul is another two people in a traffic jam but this time it's different to Two Lost Souls This time they're not getting on You know, this is the other kind of relationship in the traffic jam and I think the line that sums it up is he sees the clouds and she sees a big wide sky. And it's about two different ways of looking at life. And they're obviously not going to get on these two. And they may not even survive this traffic jump. <laughs> gotta be moving. Gotta be moving. This song is about actually the fact that somebody else told me that this was me, that I always need to be doing something next week that I didn't do last week. I always need to be doing something that I've never done before. And yeah, it can drive some people around that person crazy. But it is me, I'm always wanting to move on. I'm always looking for the next day and the nice thing about it is, yet again, such a great bass groove of Jamie away. It's a fantastic, you'd think it was Philadelphia. One of those where you keep the, the take because it felt, it felt so good. Um, and it does sound, Jamie and, and his dad, who is the guitarist, which is not a lot of people. Wow, know, okay. Uh, it's such a good guitar player and so American. East Coast American, not West Coast. And we, it actually does sound like it was done in Philadelphia or Washington. And I'm really proud of that. I don't matter what you do, no matter what you say, give me the road ahead any day. Give me the road. The road ahead is we're still in the same traffic jam, but this guy likes to be. It's all about traffic jams, I tell you. Going somewhere. <laughs> and it's a song about always being optimistic about the next week. And no matter what you do, no matter what I say, give me the road ahead any day. And most Chris Rea fans at the moment think that's the most Chris Rea type song. Um, it's got the driving blues influence about it and it's got slaggy da which i've now got quite a happy following for the road ahead give me the road ahead any day i'm gonna check out this album i don't know these songs um but some of them sound really good really good this is the last train and no other chance last train is for me, as a songwriter, one of those special, special type songs, they're, they're rarely hits. Uh, they rarely come out as a single because they're too long for radio. But in the songwriters club, you get pleased when you get a new idea 
there's a slightly different idea to anyone else's. And last train is normally a, a last train home. Normally it's the end of something. But this last train, the guy wants to get on it. He doesn't know where the train is going. And I thought to myself, wow, imagine being afraid of what's going to happen in the next hour, that you're prepared to jump on a train because it's the last train and you don't even know it's where it's going. It ain't the last train home, but you're that desperate, you will jump on this train and you're not bothered where it's going. And it's quite, uh, quite chilling, I think. When I go motor racing, I'm often in a motel because it's the nearest place. You always start early on the morning when you go motor racing. So this motel is likely to be near the circuit. So it's not normally the type of mot hotel you would go to for a holiday. And you find yourself there with other people who have to be in that motel that night for work reasons, not because they actually want to be in a hotel. And one night I was looking at this guy who was telling a story to the lady behind the bar about he'd forgotten what his dreams were. It's been such a long time. And she starts to awaken in him when he was young and it's kind of this song on the jukebox and he's hoping she's going to be the angel of love the breaking, point. Uh, breaking point is one of the few tracks that doesn't involve two people in a traffic jam um it's a it's quite poignant that I don't know how many people know somebody who has a terrible breakdown, but you had no idea that it was coming. And you're thinking to yourself, what on earth and how many months, years was this kind of thing going on mm -hmm. before we found out? Because now we found out it's too late. And I think everybody in life has this sudden realization that someone has been thinking something all the time, but you never knew. Yeah. You know, if somebody has a broken leg, they've got a plaster on the leg. But when it's something to do with clinical depression, people don't, you, it doesn't say that on the top of your head and you never find out till afterwards. And it's quite a point. Yeah. I think we all have someone like that. Beautiful. That's what you are to me. A lot of people might laugh at this song, uh, but I don't think I don't think there's any need to because what it is about really is loving, love being in the eye of the beholder, and. With me personally, this little thing uh, was something that happened to me two years ago. I had a terrible, I mean, a lot of people know it's well documented. I had a lot of illness and it took a lot of getting over. And you have to show strength every morning. And sometimes you just don't want it. You just rather stay in bed and pretend that it was before you got ill. And you have to break this. And I'm not strong enough to have broken it on my own. It, it was with the help of a certain little one-eyed dog. And she was a female. And she needed to go on the top hill above where I live every day because there were things to smell. And there was fox scent to roll in and stuff like that. And I wouldn't have got out of bed and gone up the hill every day 
if something hadn't been at the door saying, come on, we haven't got time to be miserable. We've got to go on the top field. And that's called beautiful. And she I tell you, I, I think sometimes, you know, animals, dogs especially, are sent from heaven for she sure. She is beautiful. For sure. No matter what they say. That sounds like a really good album. That sounds like we need to explore that album a little bit more. Um, there's a few songs that I definitely wouldn't mind listening to. So that was very interesting. Very interesting where he gets his um, inspirations. A lot of sitting around in traffic. Uh, the last thing I'm thinking about when I'm stuck in traffic is uh, song ideas. That's for sure. So, um, But let me know what you guys thought of that too. Let me know if you found that interesting. I found that very interesting. Um, and as I said... Sounds like a great album, one we need to kind of de delve into. So, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Thumbs up if you did enjoy that, guys, too. So, and I always say, make sure you stay safe wherever you are. I'll definitely see you in the next reaction video. Did you enjoy that video? Why not watch another one?